When I first got into the business as a 25 year old, I was scared of co-ops. There was a big board package, you could get turned down. There's, you know, all these rules, you have to have all this money, they wanna see so much money. That scared me for a little while. I actually was super intimidated by the process. I actually didn't sell in a co-op for years when I got started. And then once I started to learn about co-ops and do more and more transactions in co-ops, I realized that co-ops are not scary. Co-ops are actually one of the best things that exists in Manhattan if you take it in the right way. A co-op is buying a home. You are not buying an investment. You are not buying something that you plan on buying and flipping and renting out and putting a tenant in place. That is not what it is. A co-op is a place where you're going to have a community. You're going to have a community of people, like-minded or not like-minded, with the same objective. This objective is to keep your apartment at the highest and best value possible to sell apartments in your building to other people who can still pay their bills, okay? The reason that they care about the amount of money you have after you close in your apartment is because this way they hedge their bets against something happening and you not being able to pay said mortgage and maintenance. Nobody likes to show everything that they have, or most people don't like to show everything that they have, let's just say that. That's something that is a little bit annoying and I will tell buyers, there are buyers who we go to make offers in co-ops and they're like, I don't wanna show them my money. They're gonna think I can spend more money. I'm gonna overpay because they think I can spend. But the truth is, is that that is actually the actual opposite. If a co-op sees money, old money, new money, as long as it's green, baby, they want you in the building. They like the idea that you're financially stable. This is something that helped New York City during the most recent economic crash. This is the reason that we didn't, you know, our property values didn't drop the same way that they did in the rest of the country. In the end, it's kind of like rushing a sorority. The sorority is looking for you and you are looking for the right place to be. The sorority is looking for somebody who's also not crazy. You are looking for a place where you're gonna have fun. You're gonna have a long-term experience. Maybe you want the sorority house to be nice. It's the same thing. The idea is that you're choosing each other. It's not this like, am I gonna get in or not get in? Most of the time, if you're applying to a building and you're applying to a co-op board, you're submitting your purchase application, you should be pretty sure that they're gonna let you in. If it's like a gamble, you and your broker are making the wrong decision. I have seen two co-op board rejections in my entire career where it was actually a surprise. The rest of the time, it was pretty clear from whatever was going on with the how, the attitude of that buyer, the energy that they were putting out, if we wanna call it woo-woo, there was something that wasn't right. And, and let's call that, I don't even know how many transactions, that's probably less than 1% of my career have I seen anything that was like that. The other thing that's important to know about a co-op, which I think is like joining a club, once you get into the club, the club can become more cool, but you're in. If you join a co-op that's a great co-op, and all of a sudden over the years it becomes an amazing co-op, and you continue to add value with your co-op board to that building, you could be in a building where maybe you actually couldn't even have gotten in now. And I know people who live in really posh buildings, and I can tell you that they got in and they couldn't get in now. I can promise you that. But they can't kick you out. Listen, a lot of people that buy in co-ops, they know that they're gonna eventually grow out of their co-op. So I'm not saying don't buy a co-op unless you can buy a nine room, you know, 3,000 square foot apartment. I'm saying don't buy a co-op because of the fact that you're looking at this from the perspective of like a quick flip. It's about being in part of a community and creating a home, continuing to add value to your asset as the rising tide of quality of buildings continues to, to raise. And the buildings that don't keep up, those buildings will not maintain the same value. I would urge you to put on your rose-colored glasses when you're looking at co-ops. And think of this from a perspective that in the world we live in today, there's so much less community than there was before. This is a small piece of community that you could be a part of to enjoy continuing to improve your life and also maintaining the value of your most important asset.